are that it is critically important that the public understand that all of our buildings have libraries. They have a physical space as a library, our current buildings and our new buildings. The Lansing School District Board clearing the air, saying they never planned to get rid of school libraries. Good evening, I'm Ann Emmerich. Tonight, a three hour long meeting with dozens of parents and community members voicing their disapproval of a possible plan that did not include librarians or libraries in new schools. News 10's Jordan Burrell just got back from that meeting. She joins us in studio to give us a breakdown. Hi, and it was a long meeting where the Lansing School District superintendent and board members spent their time debunking, quote, misinformation. Parents and community members claiming they did in fact see a plan for the new Luton Elementary School that did not include a library and also heard of a plan to eliminate K-8 through library positions. The board saying that's the farthest thing from the truth, leaving many people saying the district is now gaslighting them. Everyone I have spoken to, teachers, parents, citizens who have reached out to the board or administration with questions have been ignored, stonewalled, misled, deceived, distracted. And tonight's no different with all this gaslighting. When we were presented with plans, none of those plans included the word library. It wasn't until my daughter, going into sixth grade, raised her hand at that meeting and said, where's the library? We then learned that the library, quote, space would be better defined as a book nook. Eastern High School's gym was packed Thursday evening, people rallying in support for the Lansing School District's libraries and its librarians. In a newsletter sent to district staff in May, it says that a meeting was held and, quote, administration announced their intent to eliminate K-8 through library positions and move them to create more art, music, and PE time slots. At Thursday's meeting, it was recommended that the amount of certified librarians should fall from seven to five, leaving one for each high school and two to oversee the more than 20 other K-8 through schools. All of the libraries are still the libraries. We haven't closed down a single library. The only library is the Pat and Gill thing, and that's because we're building the new thing and whatever, and whatever the rumor about Luton's library is just false. But the Luton Elementary librarian sent a letter to parents at the end of the school year stating that he will not be returning in the same capacity and that it was the district's decision. We haven't made any decisions. Something many residents feel like is a lie since receiving the letter from the Luton librarian. And if we are in this spot now, we are here because of the lack of transparency and the outright, well, as somebody said before, gaslighting time. As for where the libraries stand now, all libraries will remain in the schools unless otherwise stated by the board. There were recommendations at the meeting to revamp the libraries, but the board says they have and will continue to invest in the district's libraries and adding books for kids to enjoy while also giving more access and opportunities to visit them.